the aim of this experiment is determination of planck's constant what apparatus we have used for this purpose that is 0 to 10 voltage power supply a one way key a rheostat a digital multimeter a digital voltmeter a 1 kilo ohm resistor and different non wavelength leds that is light emitting diodes what the theory behind of this experiment planck's constant you know a physical constant was introduced by german physicist named max planck in 1900 on the led when we connect the led to an external voltage in the forward bias direction the height of the potential barrier across the pn junction is reduced at a particular voltage the height of potential barrier becomes very low and the led starts glowing that is in the forward biased condition electrons crossing the junction are excited and when they return to their normal state energy is emitted you can see this video uh, in the topic of led light emitting diode semiconductor laser so next this particular voltage is called the knee voltage at which this led starts to glow or the threshold voltage once the knee voltage is reached the current may increase but the voltage does not change the light energy emitted during the forward bias is given by e is equal to h nu where nu is equal to c upon lambda so this definition of the energy uh, from the led is defined by this way if v is the forward voltage applied across the led when it begins to emit light the knee voltage the energy given to electrons crossing the junction is defined by this formula that is e is equal to ev or led starts to glow then that time basically these two energies are equal so this amount of energy ev we can equate with this first equation so equating 1 and 2 we get ev is equal to hc upon lambda the knee voltage we can be measured for leds with different values of lambda that is the wavelength of light so now you can simplify this equation in this way v is equal to hc upon e into 1 upon lambda or instead of writing the c and lambda you can write the frequency of the particular color so now from this equation number 4 we see that slope s of graph of v on the vertical axis versus 1 upon lambda on the horizontal axis before we perform the experiment let us check our basic knowledge about this experiment so there are five objective questions related to this experiment number 1 led stands for option are light emitting diode light emitter diode none of these light emitted diode so the correct option is light emitting diode second question is the value of planck's constant is first option 6.63 into 10 raise power plus 34 joule second no 6.63 into 10 raise power 24 joule second no 6.63 into 10 raise power minus 34 joule second this is the right answer now the third one an led is used in unbiased state forward or reverse bias state reverse bias state or forward bias state LED actually is used in forward bias. 
विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज ए फोर्स्ड वाइब्रेशन पुलिंग ए चाइल्ड बैक ऑन ए स्विंग नो मा सस्पेंडेड ऑन ए स्ट्रेच स्ट्रिंग नो वाइब्रेशन ऑफ ए बिल्डिंग ड्यूरिंग अर्थ क्विक यस दिस इज फोर्स्ड वाइब्रेशन द मैकेनिकल ऑसिलेशन अबाउट एन इक्विलिबीरियम पॉइंट रिफर्स द एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस इज लेस देन द एंगल ऑफ रिफ्रैक्शन नो रेजोनेंस नो रिवर्बरेशन नो वाइब्रेशन to determine the planck's constant a uh, voltmeter here you can see led symbol uh, this is plate negative side this is positive side and connected with voltmeter this plus terminal with the positive side and negative terminal with the negative side so first of all let us connect these two and here you can see this is the voltmeter display of that ammeter in terms of milliampere resistance this one this is rheostat a key battery and this is the led right so first of all we i am connecting this voltmeter plus terminal with the positive of led so plus is this red color black is for the negative color so i have connected positive terminal negative terminal of the voltmeter now these two are connected up to here this side now the next point is i have to connect this positive terminal with the resistance so this is the positive terminal i have to connect it with this resistance and second end of the resistance is connected with the ammeter with the negative terminal so negative terminal is this black one so i have to connect uh, this resistance with this right and now this positive terminal of the ammeter is connected with the pointer of the rheostat and pointer of the rheostat is this one so i have to connect this one here with the positive terminal of the ammeter now these two ends of the rheostat are connected with the battery through this key so positive terminal of the battery is this one red color first connected to the key and second point of it by this way and second end of the rheostat this one is connected directly with the battery so i am connecting this one here right so i have connected now now according to this diagram where you think that some part is missing i have connected these two negative terminal of the voltmeter and negative side of the led but this point is not connected with the battery negative terminal of the voltmeter and the plate of this led is not connected here you see that this at this end this led is connected with only voltmeter so you can see here by this way and i have to connect now this wire with the negative terminal of the battery so so now circuit is complete i am inserting the key by using this tab so this key you can see here if i will remove it it will remove and now what i will do i will just move this pointer on this rheostat these are basically wires when i am changing the value of resistance now 240 230 220 so potential across the led is almost constant now i'm slightly vary but you have to be careful when you see this uh, this display and the led when led basically glow then that time it means current is flowing so is some value you can notice here right now you can see 
this is 5.86 milliampere so you have to note down this value for the red color and this is in terms of milliampere voltage is 1.892 so here you can see that led is glowing and this is of red color if i further decrease it it will glow more so by this way you can see but uh, we have to notice only that particular value at which uh, this led starts to glow second led actually there are four leds uh, which we have to consider into this experiment i have just used this 650 nanometer wavelength that is for the red color so it was for re red led now i will use this green one with 510 nanometer wavelength keep the resistance high that is 830 ohm there is no i will decrease and as a result reducing the potential and you can notice here that there is no change into the display and here the potential across this led is of the order of 2.389 and now i will decrease it slowly to check the value at which the current flow into the led the led starts to glow and the current is flowing into this one is of the order of 5.40 and voltage is 2.402 so you have to note down both the value if i reduce almost then it becomes totally green but uh, as i told you earlier that i have to notice only that value of the current at which it is starts to glow for the yellow led and the wavelength is of the order of 570 nanometer i will reduce the resistance at 222 there is no glowing into the led no current here now i'm slightly changing the pointer and as a result i will see the observation when it starts to glow you will notice the current value and as a result the voltage across it so right now that is 5.63 this 5.63 is the value of current which flowing into the yellow color led and voltage across it is 1.4 2.149 right and now for the next blue color led so no value there is no current no glowing gear and the voltage across the LED is 2.576 so now slightly changing the current through rheostat still no glow into the LED and this is of blue color yes at this point it is starts to glow and the value of this current is 5.61 milliampere and voltage is 2.587 so we have these four LEDs and we have noticed the value of current and voltage at what time when basically this led starts to glow in case of this blue led if i vary the resistance the potential difference across the led remain almost constant so 2.19 here this is 2.469 and here there is some value of the and now zero so all current basically flows through this led when you note down the reading of the current and uh, voltage uh, from this experiment uh, corresponding to the different different uh, leds then you have to make a plot between the voltage and one upon wavelength as we discuss into the theory so by this way you can see here the graph is plotted between the on y axis dot here voltage and on x axis this is one upon lambda so the result is a straight line so you just take mm, any two points on this uh, graph and take the slope of it you can find out the value of the slope so here you can you see that when you are using red led with this wavelength the value of Planck constant is of the order of 6.568 into 10 raised power minus 34 joule second and when you use this 
second LED that is the green LED then the time it is 6.552 in the third case that is yellow LED the value is 6.547 in the fourth case that is blue LED it is 6.565 into 10 is power minus 34 so you can find out the percentage error between this observed value that is the standard value